Two brothers are serving up something special. Frozen treats that you loved as a kid. Maybe you still do. Meet the King of Pops. If you meet someone new for the first time and they don't know who you are and they ask you what you do or whatever and you say, uh, yeah, I make popsicles and they just kind of, they don't know whether to take you seriously and laugh. When we started the business, we didn't really know what we were doing. I was working at AIG and I lost my job um, during the layoffs there. Nick uh, was lawyering at the time. Our oldest brother is an anthropologist, and while we were with him for our travels, we would go up and down uh, Central America and South America and, and have the paletas everywhere. I think that was just the whole vision. The, the inspiration for the whole company is from uh, Mexico and the paleta there, and their reasoning, I guess, for having paletas in Mexico. We kind of just fell in love with them along the way and really liked the idea of the fresh, all-natural popsicle. So we had been doing research, so we'd gone on road trips um, to seek out other popsicle makers uh, around the south, I guess, and then had come back and tried our own flavors. So we had this really little machine about maybe one-eighth the size of our machine now. And so we had to hook it up in the laundry room at my house just to try our recipes out. I have a friend that works at a salon. Those ladies will tell you whatever, whatever they're feeling. Yeah. They won't hold anything back. We started just doing the popsicle push carts kind of almost by default because we couldn't get a lease on the building we wanted, but we talked the landlord into letting us set up a cart on the corner. We showed up there one day, April 1st, um, with a cart selling popsicles. Word cut on pretty quick. Six to eight weeks later, there was enough business for me to quit my job and to help out full time. Good stuff. <laughs> kind of like our gourmet American version of the Mexican paleta. We've made a lot of really interesting flavors, probably made over 300 flavors since we started. We'll try anything once or twice. We think of other ways to either use the chocolate or use the strawberries in a new way. So instead of just making strawberry lemonade, we do strawberry balsamic or we do strawberry basil. I think we can, we've made like 4,000 a day at some points. We don't have culinary experience. We used to juice ourselves and squeeze ourselves and chop up ourselves. We try and be as local as possible with all of our ingredients when we can. We compost everything. We don't have a trash can, so it's really annoying to take our trash home, so we try not to have much because I either have to take it to my apartment building or else my parents take it home. My parents are both from Nebraska. My dad grew up on a farm, my mom in a small town, and so I guess just making use of whatever you had around you. I'm gonna finish the race. In each of their own ways, we want everyone to be a big part of the community. Taking kids out and teaching them about composting or, or just talking about a small business growing with a classroom or something like that. I, mean, I think all those things are just being a part of the community. I love the King of Pops. Yay, King of Pops!